types of data we can also say types of big data so it includes the structured unstructured as well as semi structured data so guys before the 21st century all the data was mostly structured why because uh, there was no social media there was no surveillance data okay so all the data basically students data college data data from government offices from private companies used to get stored under tables simple tables rows and column form that came under relational databases okay so you can easily understand why it is so easy to manage it that's why the name structured the data is actually structured you can easily divide it into rows and columns and form a table and save the data that's it okay then in the 21st century came the unstructured data so you cannot store the image data or video data in the form of rows and columns so it is unstructured hard to manage this is the actual need of today this is why we focus on data science concept so that we can easily analyze this data and get behavior from it get insights from it okay all this social media data the whatever we tweet whatever we post on facebook we post on instagram and the cctv data all are analyzed these days so that insights are been taken from it simple example you can say the cctv data is analyzed like in india also even at the time of kumbh mela there is there is lot of chaos there are lot of people so what what the cops do what the administrator do they manage the data of cctvs at a particular place in a particular area and check that there are no more than particular number of people in a particular fraction in a particular area to avoid chaos so in this way unstructured data is managed now came semi structured data to understand this data we can easily go through our indian aadhaar data so aadhaar data is semi structured because stores data in the form of structured as well as as well as unstructured structured how the name age date of birth all these get saved under row and column form that is structured form but what about our fingerprints or our images they get saved as unstructured data in the form of mongodb i should say semi structured data can include both of them social media data also now you would be wondering how social media data is semi structured social media data your tweets let's say 10 people like your tweets 20 people liked your post on facebook three of them shared your post on facebook these or numbers can be easily saved in the form of rows and columns okay but the images you post on facebook on twitter the videos you post on twitter and facebook instagram that are managed using unstructured form that is that comes under unstructured data the same goes for sensors okay now let us move further now let us focus on what is structured data structured i told you before structured data is organized data as the name suggests it is structured the structured data can be easily stored in the form of rows and columns that is tables here it is so let's say you have student records you have stored in the form of rows and columns rows are your horizontal part and columns are vertical part here is student id name and is stored in the form of tables that is structured data it includes number and values i told you uh, quantitative data structured data is quantitative data so right now only 20% of enterprise data is structured and rest 80% is unstructured so you can see the need to manage unstructured data is so so very required i told you the structured data can be stored in the form of database tables rows and columns it is easy to search let's say i told you to search a name amit inside a data set a table with the 100 rows you can easily search it okay so examples include student data i told you college data company data you can say with the name of employees age of employees phone number address and their department and other stuff comes under structured data now what is unstructured data we focused on structured data before now came unstructured data the need of today this is what we need to manage today and this is what we talk about in data science also unstructured data is unorganized data that is you cannot uh, save it in the form of rows and columns so no predefined data model it is non relational non tabular non relational okay 80% of enterprise data is unstructured so social media data is enormous so all this uh, cctv surveillance images and video data is enormous these days due to uh, also we can say facebook instagram twitter all these data are unstructured so 80% of complete data is unstructured and 20% only 20% is structured so structured can be managed in the form of database tables but this cannot be managed we can never store it in 
database tables rows and column form it is hard to search i told you before it is not tabular so it is difficult to search it because because let's say your facebook post is having uh, text also images also videos also documents also so these are not in structured form we can say so all these different forms uh, can only be managed using uh, no sql databases that is unstructured data is managed using no sql databases we will discuss it later storing aadhar images of users in unstructured data okay images storing images uh, videos uh, cctv surveillance data all these data comes under unstructured data form